Hello guys and welcome to Coding Orbit. In this video, I will show you how to convert JSON to a Dart model and vice versa how to convert Dart model to JSON. Now we're not gonna use the emulator since we don't have anything to show on the screen. However, we will keep it running to test the application. Now I have already created a file called response that has a JSON object. It's a user. Inside it we have user ID, name, email, phone, and status is active. And I've already created a user model also so let's get started all right there are two ways to convert json into dart model the first one is to do it manually so we will create a method called from json and we will convert the json to a dart object so we can say factory user dot from json and this method takes map which is string and dynamic and let's call it json and this returns a user object so we will return a user inside the user we will have user id and we can say json then square brackets and user id now this is case sensitive so whatever response you have here you must copy it and paste it here so after the user id we can have name which is json name and we can have email which is JSON email and we can have the phone as well JSON phone and finally we can have is active which is JSON is active and semicolon here now we can also create a method to return from Dart object to JSON so we will create map string and dynamic with capital S and let's call it to JSON this doesn't takes anything however it returns a JSON a JSON so the JSON is the first is name will return the actual name and user ID which will return the current user ID and phone which will return the phone and email that returns the email and finally is active that returns the current is active and semicolon here all right this is the manual part so let's go to the main and test it i've already created a method called get user it takes build context however we might not use it but i will keep it so now first thing we have to do we have to extract this json response into our code so I will create final let's call it file is equal to root bundle since we have it here dot load string and we have to give it the key so the key is um, json slash response dot json with the semicolon and we have to await this so let's add await right after it let's create final json and let me give you a little bit of space all right json is equal to json decode and we want to decode this file and that's it now let's try and printing this json and let's save it and see if it's printed or not all right it does print it all right now we want to cast this json into an object so after print json let's create a user and let's call it user is equal to we want to have a user model from this json so we would say user dot from json this method we've created and we will send the json however since this response has user then it has the user object so we would have to specify this here we would have to say user here so it actually takes these it doesn't take only the user now if we try and print anything from this user let's try print user dot anything email for example and let's save it now to see if it works okay I have closing closing parentheses here now let's save it and see if it printed and it does print it all right now moving to the second part of this video where we don't create it manually and we make a library do the job for us now inside the json folder i've created two response the first response is the one you've already seen and the second response is a complex response it's actually 
the same as before but it also has an address and this address is also an object so we will create a model for this but we will not create from json and to json like so we will actually uh, install a library and then it will do these functions for us all right now to install the dependency we will go to the browser and we will use this library however this time we will not copy this line and put it in popspec.yaml we will go to this link and we will copy this line and put it after dependencies in popspec.yaml so after cupertino icons paste this and then go back to here and copy these two and after flutter sdk put this and take this like that now click public get and let's wait for it to install them all right now let's minimize this and kill the app and close pubspec.yaml and go to the lib right click it and new new dart file and let's create a class called complex user and this complex user is a class now inside here i would actually copy everything from here and put it here now this time we will also have final address and let's call it address and that's it we will create another class for the address dart file and let's call it address and let's create class address now inside the address for the response in the response we have street area and postal code so let's create final string street and area and postal code now click here and create constructor and let's have them all as required and name parameter so i will paste this here and paste this here and i will add t for both of them all right now let's go here and import the address and create the constructor and i will also have it as name parameter as well and let's add required here as well now let's copy this and put it here and here and here and here and here all right now our next step is we actually have to come here and put add then type json serializable and since we have another object here inside here we would say um, explicit to json and set it to true sorry okay now we will do the same for uh, the address so we will come here and we would have at json serializable and we don't have to specify anything here now as you noticed postal code is different from the postal code here here it has underscore and in the address it doesn't have underscore so to fix this we have to have uh, here add json key and in the key we would specify the name the name is postal code now we didn't specify any name for any for the others since they are they match the response here the same response uh, with the same attribute name all right now our next step is we'll come here and say part now we would specify the file name address dot g which means generated dot dart and after the address you know in the user we've created the user ourselves however this time we will not create it ourselves we would just say factory address dot from json and this also takes a map string dynamic let's call it json and this time it returns dollar address you should have it the same name of the object address and capital from capital json and send the json here now to json is actually the same map string dynamic and let's call it to json it doesn't take anything and we have to have dollar address to json and we have to send this object so we'll just say this and we will do the same for the complex user so i will just copy them and change the name 
I will go to the complex user and after the constructor, I will just change the name. So we will change it to a complex address instead, a uh, complex user instead of address. And I will add the part. Part here is complex underscore user dot g dot dart. Now you should make sure that you have no errors here except this is three the part and the from JSON and the to JSON. Now we will go to the terminal and we would actually type package. We will type this command flutter packages pub run build runner and click enter. Now it would work and it shall give us a successful output. So let's wait a bit for it. All right, it finishes up. And as you can see, it has succeeded after 10 seconds with four outputs. But as you can see, we still have error. That's because I forgot to add underscore before them. So when you add underscore here, it will work. We will go to the address and we would also add underscore with underscore here. Now, if we go to any of these, command click it or uh, control click it on Windows, you can see that it creates the from JSON and to JSON for us. And you can see it takes the postal code, the JSON key we provided. Now we will go back to the main and we will try to make this work so let's create final and let's call this response is equal to await root bundle dot load json load string and i will just copy this paste it here and change it to complex response all right now final json2 for example is equal to json decoder decode and the response now let's print the json2 to see if it works or not json2 and save it okay we have to run it so let's run the app and see if it will print it or not all right it first print the first json which is this response and then it prints the email and finally it prints the other json so now let's convert this json into a model so let's create final complex user is equal to complex user dot from json with json2 and we have to specify the user as before and semicolon now let's try and print the complex user dot address for example dot postal code and let's save it to see if it works or not it does work as you can see the postal code here it extracted it and we are having the postal code now we haven't tried to json so let's also try print complex user dot to json since we've already having a complex user object so let's save it and see if it works and it does work as you can see it converted the json the object into a json so that was all guys thank you for watching and if you haven't subscribed yet and you like the video, make sure to subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss our content and see you in the next video.